Hello guys, welcome back in the mobile gaming here. In this episode, I'm going to talk about the new rework of Johnson and the quick guide of tips and tricks how to play the Johnson hero now. So, this Johnson got the rework with the skills and ability now. Uh, we will do a quick review. So, his passive now give him a shield when he has lower than 30% HP and this is based on the armor that he has. So this lasts for 10 seconds and is very good for him if he has low HP it can save him a lot. And the second is deadly pincers. This skills is stunning control group damage so Throw a spanner and then deals 200 plus 150 percent total armor magic damage to enemies in its path. So, this skill dealing magic damage and based on his armor. So it's very important for him to have even more armor. It means more damage with this skill. This skill is also stun. It's very good. And the Second uh, second skill is using his shield and continuously dealing 80 plus 20 percent total armor. So this is also magic damage, but based on total armor. That's why this new heroes Johnson's uh, need a lot of armor now. It means he can deal a lot of damage with armor and also have a lot of physical defense. And the ultimate is still pretty much the same, so yeah. But ultimate dealing not uh, armor, but it's based on the magic power. So armor not affect this skill. And now, since we already reviewed the skill, let's repair the emblems for him. For him, here I would advise you to use firmness to give even more armor so at level 3 i think it's give 12 armor and then the second tire you get this fortress level 3 is like 7.5 percent armor it's very very good and for the last one i usually oh one second for the last one i use this tenacity so when health is below 40% gains an increase 35 points. And oh. But if you already have this brave smite, it's actually even better. Johnson have three control controlling skill. So this skill very good with Johnson because he will regen 5% of max HP each time he uses it. And now, look, so I use this firmness and then fortress and then also brave smite. It's the best one. But if you still don't have brave smite, you can use this tenacity. It's also still good enough. And for the gear, I would recommend I usually use buy this first warrior boots it's good for defense at the very early battle and also good for movement speed and once you get this you want to get this blood armor because it is the the best armor in the in the game that give the most armor and it's also good with uh, marksman because or any AA heroes and then the second you want to get this demon's advance because when enemy hero attacks this ability will reduce their attack 6% and it can stack 3 times means it can reduce 18% is very very good while the third one I usually get cursed helm because this one deals 1.5% of max HP as magic damage and I usually get after this 
first helmet I get this oracle to give even more uh, region and also 10% extra cooldown reduction is very good and after I got four of them I usually get this one wing of apocalypse queen it's the best for me because it gives extra 10% cooldown so Johnson can use more skill often and then also give uh, like defense 40% physical and magic when the life HP is below like 40% I think yes uh, when it's below 40% it gives extra defense and magic resistance which is very good for a tank it's very very good right now this item because it's good for assassin also but good also for tank even though it's not give any defense but i like the 40 percent reduction and now since we finish this equipment set we will try in classic how to build it okay so now we start in the game now what you want to buy first is you to buy shoes and then first skill you need to use the first skill you want to max this the first skill as soon as possible and then you can upgrade the second skill and then the ultimate because the first skill is the one that deals very good damage and also stun look at that see it's very good and for the battle spell you want to take the petrify you see here it can very helpful for the team with this done first you want to build the warrior's boots because it gives you a good defense and also movement speed very good for the early camps here i will how to use the first skill you can adjust where you want to throw the hammer it's very good here we focus on the tower first since johnson is a tank hero you have to protect your teammate as much as you can so let your teammate run away from the opponents Here we finish to build the warrior boots. Look, the passive is just up here now. I get shield. It's very good. And now you want to build this after you get the warrior boots you want to build the plate armor An ally has been slain. and since his skill has no mana so you can just spam skill whenever you want Thank you. You want to put the ultimate. It's, there is no minion sound. The first skill is very good for also escaping because you can stun the enemies. Imagine with the emblems crowd controlling all of his skill is crowd controlling it means he can always reach 5% HP whenever he uses the skill Let's do kill this it's Very good with this petrify battle spell you want to use so there is four controlling that you use. 
Very, very good. An ally has been slain. I must finish building the armor. His first skill deals a lot of damage because he has a lot of armor. After that, I usually make this or it's between cursed helmet or demon's advent. It depends on my opponents. If my opponents has no magic, have no magic attacker, so I can just build this one instead. It's better because this gives more defense. Like that. This ultimate is so powerful. Massive damage. And also stun and slowing them. Let's go back to the home base. Recharge. His new passive is also very good to protect him because it's a lot of armor, it means a lot of shield. And ultimate also gives 10% of armor. Oh, there is two of them. See that second skill is better. Even Akai can kill this. So good. An ally has been slain. And then what? Our turret is under attack. Don't have my right time. Even marksman is weak against him because of the armor. Remember to max to, to skill first first and then you can increase the second skill because the first skill is the one that deals a very good damage and also stun enemies. The second skill is also good because the damage is based on your armor. Let's cross this side. His passive is comes again. 
The second skill with the first helmet is very perfect. And with the buff, he also increased physical and magical resistance. So yeah, the next item, I usually use this item, cursed helmet. But since there is not so much, not much at all, so I wouldn't recommend this. But this is, this is in the classic, so I don't mind using this for the extra damage. For the extra damage is good, look. Even versus two of them. Even versus two of them. Johnstone is still good. And we're going to trust this. Look at that. Alright guys, so that's it, the quick tips and guide, tips and tricks, so hope it's helpful for you to play Johnson, I myself not a pro Johnson, but this new rework is very good for Johnson and I'm even better with this now, and since I, like I said, it's depend if you have magic opponents, you can build more magical defense like this oracle, but if you don't, you can put the other ones, which is give like this one, or I mean this one, Bloodthirsty King, give you more HP, or you can also put this one if you have a lot of uh, AA attacker with the critical group. This one is also good for armor and 20% crit chance reduction. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching and stay tuned. If you want uh, any other videos of quick tips and tricks guides, ask me and comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. See you.